This was actually a rematch of a game earlier this season where Batesville won 26-21. The Pioneers are used to plenty of playoff success, used to pretty easy first rounds, but boy was this one a battle. Let's check out the highlights. Here come the Pioneers opening offensive drive. Zach Griffin pitches it to Kylan Robinson and he's headed down the sideline and he's in for a 31-yard touchdown, 7-0 Batesville. The fireworks going off, the Pioneers add a field goal, but here comes Watson Chapel. Trey Cole bursts through the hole in a hurry. Looks like Batesville has an angle, but the little man is just too fast, and he's in for the TD. A bad snap on a punt then sets up Watson Chapel in the goal line, and Cole's second touchdown around the corner gives Watson Chapel a 14-10 lead. The Wildcats in the red zone again, but Jacob Skaggs steps up with the interception. Great play right here, and he would head down the sideline for a huge, huge gain. The Pioneers get backed up because of a few penalties, but here's the play of the game. Third and very, very long. Zach Griffin running one way. No one's open. A few defenders around him, but he switches fields, makes another cut, breaks it to the middle. This is an incredible run, folks. And a Yarnell sweetest play of the week nominee as Griffin is down all the way at the one yard line. From there, he would finish what he started with a QB sneak as Batesville takes a 17-14 lead. Louis Sanier would extend the lead with a touchdown of his own. The Pioneers led at 24-21 at the half. So what happened there at the end? You know, Batesville stopped them on the one yard line. They had, get, they had a chance to tie the game there, Watson Chapel. You guys hold on for the win. What do you think about the win and maybe who was the player of the game for you guys? Uh, you know, without looking at the film, it would be hard to pick a player of the game, but our defense came up big there at the end. That was a great goal line staying inside the one-yard line and uh, very exciting right down to the wire. General thoughts, pretty happy with the win? Well, we're happy with the win. You know, at this point, you just want to advance, but uh, we had some things, had a chance to take control of the game early and uh, let them get back in it, and man, did they get back in it. It was, it was a great high school football game. There we have it from Coach King again. Batesville pulls out the tight 42-35 win. We're going to have more in the next block. For now, reporting live in Batesville, Common Enchev, Region 8 Sports.